uh, this tutorial is going to teach you which formats to use and when. Okay, so for example, I've got a header here, um, and it's got solid colors, has no transparency in it, and it's going to be like the heading of one of my pages on in Dreamweaver. Uh, what format should I choose? So ideally, I should pick something that's small in size but high in quality, because uh, I, I want my page to load fast. So I'm going to go save as, um, and in my images spot, which is uh, where all my other stuff is, I'm going to change uh, the format now. Um, a lot of these are quite large and a lot of them are not really needed, like these are all Photoshop formats you don't really need. BMP is like a really high resolution, high quality format. Um, I wouldn't really use it because you don't need it. Um, JPEG is really the one you're after for things that don't require transparency. Um, quality is still good, but file size is small. Okay, so um, I'm going to pick that. Um, and then I'm going to call it something useful like header um, for home. I don't like that. Press save. Um, make sure that you've, if you want it to be high quality, um, I'd crank it all the way to the top pretty much every time uh, because, you know, it's not going to really increase the file size much. Press OK. Um, so if we were to have a look at that in the images folder, you could see uh, if I double click that, um, you can't really tell that it's saved to a, a like a compressed format um, and its file size is still pretty little. Okay, despite being uh, pretty high quality. So JPEG all the way uh, for that kind of thing. Um, but of course, uh, if you have something that requires transparency, it needs to be PNG. So just be careful about how big that becomes in web design. So remember file, save as, um, if you want something with transparency, pick PNG like we've done previously. Okay, um, something like this, a big full color background like this. Um, definitely, once again, a JPEG. Um, Call it something like, I don't know, home back one. Okay, this is where you need to think about how big you want it to be and how good the quality is. So some pictures will be even larger than this, but at the moment this is becoming 500K, which is starting to get to the realm of needs to be smaller um, for loading time. So you probably drop down to maybe about here. Um, that's a little bit more acceptable. Um, quality's dropped a bit, um, but you're probably not really gonna notice it. And if we press OK um, and save that, let's have a look. Um, you can sort of see a little bit of a drop in the quality um, as you compare the two, but not huge. Um, and it's probably passable. Okay, so we've made it significantly smaller. Um, perks of that um, at something that's 145, the loading times are just going to be better than something that it's you know in the megabytes. So particularly background images, you got to make sure they're not too big. Uh, this one, for example, 2.3 megabytes, way too big for a background. The loading times will be a killer on some people's computers. Uh, you want to try and optimize that as best you can okay, by decreasing file sizes. So JPEGs are the way to go for solid colors, PNGs for the transparency, uh, but just don't make your PNGs too big. Um, for example, if I was to save this as a PNG, um, I'll just call it test, press OK. Um, go back to my images. Um, it's almost one megabyte in size, which um, it's just wasted space, not really needed. Um, and really, you can't tell a great deal between the two of them. Um, one's just saved in a format that is better than the other one. Okay, so you can barely tell the difference, uh, but you've wasted a lot of space if you use that. So make sure you don't save backgrounds as PNGs unless you have transparency. Thanks for using this tutorial.